Time to do some programming. What I've done here is to download the htm that we provide, and then I've started a, an empty file temp.py. So uh, the first thing we want to do is to make sure that we understand htm. So let's look at that file here. Yeah, this is the files menu here. You see all the files, and you can variable expo uh, explorer and other things. This is Anaconda and Spider in Anaconda. So the important stuff uh, is up here. HTM uh, has two arguments, tsat, tactual. Calculation of water vapor enthalpies in kilo per kilogram, quick and dirty routine, uh, very quick and dirty. Uh, what I've done is to take the steam table you find in here and simply make, take all the data <laughs> and make linear interpolations in two dimensions very bad code, uh, but that's not important in this case. And OK, it takes two inputs. Tsat is the saturation temperature. That is the condensation temperature, the, the temperature at which this steam condenses. And that should be in Celsius. And the actual is the actual temperature of the steam in Celsius. So what that means is that if Tsat equals T actual, then you are at the saturation temperature, the condensation point. But if T actually is larger than T sat, then you have overheated steam. And there is a note here, note specifying T actual less than zero will return uh, enthalpy at T sat. That uh, by doing this, you this return thing can make um, come to a solution quicker. Uh, it's not so important to know, but uh, let's Let's check if we understand how this works. Now, we, we do want to import some stuff. Uh, and let's import math. We won't be using that now, but uh, later. Uh, we can import NumPy, because that we will be using as NP. We will be using arrays in NumPy. Uh, we can also import. Uh, from scipy optimize uh, import root. We will be using that later. Root is the root finding function uh, that we will be using for, to solve the equations later on. Uh, and uh, I do want to use this hdeem uh, file here. And inside that, the only thing I want to use is sorry underscore steam underscore steam uh, from that file import the routine hdeem so we have access to that we have some warnings here currently and that's simply because currently we have imported but not used and we haven't written any code yet so that's no nothing strange okay uh, let's write a routine uh, that has the purpose of testing this uh, hdeem to check that we understand how to use it and that it uh, gives back the correct values. So let's call that test h steam. No input and just write a comment. Uh, checks uh, that h steam gives back good values and also that we understand how to use it. Uh, we need some data to to do this checking. And uh, let's uh, say that the variable data uh, contains data from the steam table. Uh, and we will simply use this. There is a steam table in there. Uh, that steam table is uh, was created by uh, by using the routines water 95 by pg youngless and and that or set of matlab routines is actually an implementation of the iapws 95 standard i don't want to go into coding that um, so i made a very quick and dirty uh, thing here uh, okay so what data do we want to have from the steam table well we do want to have uh, T saturation, uh, T actual, uh, T actual, and then the 
enthalpy of the steam. Uh, for that uh, combination of T saturation and T actual. So uh, let's uh, say that data uh, equals NP dot array, because we want to put it into an NP array. Uh, and inside that we need this straight, straight brackets. And then we put in our numbers, but we want to put in several rows. So let's put in uh, double uh, brackets like that. So what data to choose? Let's pick uh, 15 degrees. 15, uh, 15. So T sat and T actual is the same. And then we have the value 25, 28.33. And, and we saw in HD that an, as an alternative, instead of specifying t actual as the same as t sat, we can specify t actual as less than zero. So let's try that. So 15 uh, minus 1, and then still 25, 28.33. Let's now take uh, a temperature. Oh, sorry, I got forgot that bracket there. Uh, let's now take uh, data for a pressure where we do have also data for oversaturation. And 8 bar is one such um, pressure. So let's look up at 8 bar. We have 170.41 as the temperature. 170.41. And the enthalpy there is 2768.30. Let's enter that again, but specifying the second value as negative 1, 170.41, and minus 1, and 2768.30. OK. And the last one, uh, we need also, uh, sorry, not 170.41. We want uh, overheated. Thing. Yeah, uh, that's a saturation temperature is still 170.41. But uh, we need the actual temperature is larger than that. And let's see here, we have 250 as a value, 250 degrees. That gives us 2950.436. So that should be everything. Oh, there's an error there. Let's see what that is. Invalid syntax. Uh, okay, where can that be? Invalid syntax on that line. Ah, I forgot the comma. Now it says invalid there. Ah, and that's because I forgot the closing straight bracket. No, that's fine. OK, we have a new warning. Local variable data is assigned, but never used. Yeah, I know. We haven't started using it yet. OK, now we have an array with uh, data to check with. Uh, so let's go through this, cycle through this array, one row at a time, and see what comes out if we use hsteam to calculate the enthalpy of the steam. Uh, and just a quick and dirty way to let's print first what we go, are going to print very quick and dirty we, uh, t saturation we want to print t actual we want to uh, print the calculated uh, value for the steam uh, you also completed i also need the table value or literature value and we want a deviation, let's say, in percent to see how far off are we. So how to cycle through the uh, rows one at a time? Well, there is a very quick and nice thing in Python for a variable in data. This will take one row at a time. So I simply call that variable row so I know what 
uh, easier to know what I'm doing if I call it draw. So for each one, we want to call H team. And as you see in the pop-up, that's T sat and T actual should, should go in. So the first one is T sat. That's uh, in our row. That's the uh, very first position. And the first position in Python is position zero. This is different from, for example, MATLAB and Fortran and some other programming languages where the first position is one. Uh, I would say that the more common is actually that uh, the first position is position zero. But when you switch between programming languages, it's important to, <laughs> to keep this in mind. Otherwise, you will do very strange programming errors uh, that can be difficult to find. OK, um, but I need to put the result from HTM into something. So let's see uh, what comes out from HTM. What comes out is H, P, and H, K. H is enthalpy of overheated steam. Uh, and it comes out in that order. I know that. Um, so HV calculated is the thing we're interested in. We're not interested in other stuff. So let's just skip that. And we can do that by simply having an underscore there in position. Oh, sorry. I should write that on the previous line. Like that. And then an equal sign. So now we put uh, the the calculated value for the enthalpy of the steam into the variable hv calculated. And let's now just print. Uh, we want to uh, uh, spell badly today, t saturation. Uh, t saturation was the first uh, one we wanted to print. That's row position zero. And then we want t actual. That's row position one. And then we want the HV calculated, which is our variable HV calculated. And I think I can use tab, yes, to uh, complete that. And then uh, we want the tabled value, that's row position number two. And then we also wanted the deviation in percent. So parentheses HV calculated and minus row position two. And then divided, sorry, divided by row position two. And then we're done. Uh, we're done with this routine, and uh, we're done with the for loop. Uh, so we can simply call this function test h steam. Currently, uh, this file is called temp, so I can't go here and uh, write test h steam and be sure that it will work. But in, uh, in Anaconda and the spider thing here, uh, I can simply click here. Let's save first. And then we click Run. And here comes the result. You see, this is not a nice layout, but this is a quick and dirty thing. So these are the actual. Here we are 15 and 15. And then this is the calculated enthalpy. This is the literature value. And here is a deviation in, oh, not in percent. Yeah, I forgot to multiply what with 100. Easy mistake to do. Let's rerun. And note that when I clicked uh, the Run button there, it automatically saved. So I actually don't have to click the Save button first. OK, now I have it in percentages instead, but still it's very, very low values. Uh, the last one is a bit off, I see here. I mean, here uh, for eight bars, which was 170.41, I get a really good value. But for the overheated stuff, mm, the linear interpolation is not that good. Uh, it's 29.50, so it's, but it's still, it's like three per mil deviation. So, for the intentions of our course, that's fine. So now we know how to use HD. So we can simply call, uh, comment this out and continue with the next thing.